Frederick William Lambert Slayton was the first scientist to devote his research completely to bumblebees. He published his first book about the bee at the age of 16, in 1892, solidifying himself as the world expert. And he still kind of is. Species that are today rare or extinct in Britain, such as the short-haired bumblebee, were familiar to Slayton, and his descriptions of the nests of such species remain pretty much all that we know, Goulson writes. No one has come close to matching Slayton's knowledge of the nesting habits of bumblebees. In this video I will share with you 7 Amazing Fun Facts About Bumblebees Before we begin we published new videos daily. So be sure to subscribe this channel for the great content. Without delay let's start. The world's largest bumblebee is the Bombus dalbama I of South America. Its queens are described as looking like flying mice. Bumblebee eggs are shaped like sausages. Tiny, tiny sausages. A bumblebee flaps its wings 200 times per second. That's a similar RPM to some motorcycle engines. Bees have to eat a ton. Bumblebees have extremely fast metabolisms, so they have to eat almost continuously. A bumblebee with a full stomach is only ever about 40 minutes from starvation, as Goulson puts it. Bumblebee nests are much smaller than those of other species. They have a maximum of 300 to 400 worker bees, compared to the tens of thousands found in a honeybee or wasp nest. For context, there are around 25,000 known species of bee, though there are likely more that have yet to be discovered. Bumblebees don't die when they sting. That's just a thing in honeybees. So yes, a bumblebee can sting you twice. However, male bumblebees don't have a stinger at all, and female bumblebees aren't very aggressive, so unless you go barging into their nest, you're likely safe. Bees have smelly feet. Bees, like all insects, are covered in an oily film that makes them waterproof. When they land on a flower, they leave their chemical signature behind. Other bees can smell these oily footprints left on flowers, and know not to land on the same place the nectar's already been pillaged. Bees also use these footprints as a sort of smelly welcome home mat, the scent helps them find their way back to the entrance of their nest. Please hit like and subscribe our channel for more amazing content in the future.